Hello Capricorn, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 6th of February until the 12th of February 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Four of Pentacles. You are very conservative about money and are not inclined to gamble in financial matters. You are very protective of what you have accumulated over time, and slowly and steadily you increase your net worth through saving money and safe investments. You are self-sufficient both financially and emotionally, as you often equate money with emotional security. This card also indicates possessiveness, greed and an overly cautious approach to life. You may be afraid to take risks both financially and emotionally for fear of losing everything that you have attained so far. As a result, you may be vaguely unhappy and unfulfilled. Deep down you are starting to realize that you have sold out for a conservative and overly safe approach to life. Thus, the Four of Pentacles indicates one of the dangers of prosperity, the temptation to value money far above its real worth. If wealth and financial success lead to a miserly or penny-pinching attitude, then you have found yourself in a narrow-minded state where nothing is perceived to have any significant value other than money. This attitude is an expression of extreme attachment to the material things of the world and is unhealthy in the long term. Sometimes, the Four of Pentacles can indicate an inflexible attitude that is resistant to change. You have already established a way of living that now works for you, so why change? Change appears to be a threat to your certainty, safety and security, and may place you at risk of losing all that is important to you. Any suggestion of doing things differently is therefore going to be met with resistance for fear of how it will impact your personal sense of security. Thus you are more likely to favor tradition and tried and tested ways of doing things, rather than taking any risks at this point. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Ten of Cups. What do you want most right now is to have a harmonious and loving family life. All family members are getting along with each other and there is a lot of happiness and love shared. No one is fighting or causing any tension. Instead, it is an environment of peace and happiness that lends itself to warm and loving relations. The presence of the Ten of Cups may even reflect an upcoming family holiday where you can rest and relax together, creating fun and happy family memories. There may be a family reunion or a family celebration where members of your extended family come together. This is a wonderful time to bond with your family and lay the foundation for a happy and harmonious future together. The Ten of Cups is also a very positive card in terms of romantic relationships and may indicate either the beginning of a new, very happy relationship, or the ultimate satisfaction of a long-term relationship. Commitment and love are the requirements of such satisfaction. Yet this card promises that with the required effort a lasting love can be built. The time will also be made for the enjoyment of pleasures, which may be shared with another person whom you love. Outside of relationships and the family, 
The Ten of Cups is also reflective of your personal values system and what you believe will bring you the ultimate fulfillment and happiness in your life. This card represents a time when you are very clear on where your personal beliefs and values lie and you have successfully created a life that is aligned to those values. It may reflect a spiritual or religious person who lives in peace and harmony. It may also reflect strong family values that were instilled within you early in life which are now helping you to create a fulfilling lifestyle. The Ten of Cups encourages you to follow your heart and go with your intuition about where the best opportunities lie. As an intuitive person, you know that you can trust your gut feeling to guide you. When you feel truly happy and inspired about something, you know that that is the way to go. Aim to seek out opportunities that make you feel fulfilled and that are aligned with your personal values rather than simply following the path that others expect you to take. You have to do what feels right to you and you only. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the King of Swords. You may be afraid of a male significant figure in your life, most likely from air signs, who is manipulative and persuasive in order to fulfill his own selfish needs. He is a very intelligent older male, or sometimes female, who likes to show off to others about how smart he is by using big words or talking about topics about which no one else knows. He may also be very cutting in his words, critical of others, and stern in his manner. This card may represent a person in your life or even yourself. You need to be wary of this type of person because, Although he or she may be charming and intelligent, they can do only harm. They have only their personal interests in mind and will do whatever they can to achieve these interests, even if it means stepping on others. He is prone to aggression and angry outbursts, particularly if you make him look bad or challenge his authority. He is not pleasant to be around and is likely to leave you feeling demoralized and put down. This card also reflects a lack of decisiveness about where your best opportunities lie or in what direction you want to head. You are still making up your mind about what you really want to do and what is going to inspire you. This lack of decision means a lack of direction at this time, so it is essential that you drive energy towards making a decision and then acting upon it. The longer you wait around until everything is 100% clear, the longer you delay your fulfillment. You may also be lacking the mental clarity to work out what it is that you need to do in your situation. Your thoughts are scattered and may be starting to feel quite panicky and out of control when it comes to knowing exactly what to do and what choices to make. You are feeling very lost and uncertain about your options, let alone the decisions you need to make. As a result, you are delaying necessary decisions and generally not achieving anything because you are getting so worried. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the Queen of Wands. You have to be bold and courageous in your undertakings and actions. Your creative energies are high and you have a good sense of your life direction. You are highly optimistic confident and full of ideas that you are ready to implement and share with others. You have an ability to express your passions with great authenticity and courage. The Queen of Wands is a natural extrovert and enjoys being the center of attention. She creates a powerful first impression and is a likable individual who makes friends easily by being sweet, warm and charming. She wants to be known, to be someone. She has bountiful social and professional networks and she draws people to her with her charisma and positive energy. She radiates health and vitality and has an inner vibrancy that fills her with ongoing energy and inspiration. This queen is a natural born, intelligent leader who actively inspires others. She can be quite the mover and shaker, influencing others through her vision, courage and determination. 
she instills confidence within you and gives you the power and self-assurance that you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. The negative side to the Queen of Wands is that she can sometimes be stubborn, particularly if she pursues an ambition or goal for too long and burns herself out in the process. Even the Queen of Wands is not invincible, even if she thinks she is. At times, she may also be deceptive, overbearing, irritable, righteous and even tyrannical, particularly if you get on her bad side. She also has a fiery, passionate personality with a quick temper. She may be known to get all worked up, yell and scream, and then give you a hug, all within the space of an hour. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the six of cups. There might be some issues from your past came out to the open. It is important to explore the memories of your past but do not get stuck there. Your ideas and beliefs that were established in the past may be prohibiting your progress. Use your past as a guide for your future, and focus on living in the present. You may have had unrealistically rosy ideas about a particular stage of life, based on your dreams and ideals from when you were younger. For example, you may have always pictured yourself as married with children by 25, only to realize that once you hit 25, you had other goals in mind. Or you may be disappointed that you have reached a particular age but have not fulfilled your childhood dreams just yet. Sometimes, the Six of Cups can indicate child abuse or sexual abuse sustained as a young person. You may still be working through these issues and trying to release yourself from the harmful memories. Alternatively, you may be working with others who have repressed memories from their childhood and who need your support. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Ace of Cups. This card can indicate the start of a new relationship be it a friendship or a romance. This is one of those relationships where you feel happy and you are so pleased to have met someone with whom you can share a special connection. The water in the card reflects the flow of emotion and thus the Ace of Cups suggests that positive emotion and energy will be created between two people in a way that leaves you feeling good about yourself and life in general. You need to experience the feeling of new love or of giving and receiving unconditional love. Give and accept love on a new level and open your heart to what is around you. Your loving ways will magnetize love to you. This card often means that love is the essence of the situation. It may or may not be romantic love. Look for ways in which you can begin to connect with others. Do you have someone to forgive? or do you want to ask for forgiveness? Can you set aside your anger and find peace? Would you like to drop your reserve and let your feelings show? This is a peaceful time in your life so use it and make peace with friends or yourself. The Ace of Cups is also about creative expression, particularly where there is an opportunity to allow your emotions to shine through. You are very open to experiencing your inner feelings and sharing them with others. You may be inspired to start a new creative project, take up an art class or two, or even engage in interpretative dance. You are at that point in your life where you feel comfortable with who you are and what you feel and you are not afraid to express that part of yourself to others. You see new potential in allowing your creative juices to flow and as such, you are open to new possibilities and stimulating your imagination to allow your talent to unfold. There is certainly a generous, compassionate component to the Ace of Cups. This is a time of giving, not taking, and offering yourself to a new opportunity to help others. You have the power to bring great happiness to others and to share your contentment and positive energy. You will also find that the more you give, the more you receive on multiple levels. The Ace of Cups often points to fertility. 
From a very literal point of view, this means that the Ace of Cups can indicate conception, pregnancy or birth. There may be the birth of a new idea or a spark of new inspiration. It can represent the beginning of a project in which a great deal of loving and creative energy is invested. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the Sun. This card indicates that it's a wonderful time for you. You're succeeding in ways you never dreamed possible. Endeavors that you begin now are blessed with abundance and success. Keep your thoughts positive and everything will turn out beautifully. This is also a time of brilliant new ideas and solutions. Have confidence in yourself. The work you've done personally and spiritually brings astonishing changes to your life. You're on the right path for your own enlightenment. Additional meanings of this card. Joy. Public recognition. The attainment of great personal insights. Vibrant physical and or emotional health. Beryl is the Archangel who helps with mental functioning, including focus and concentration. Call upon Errol to spark new ideas and solutions, as well as to increase your confidence in your intelligence and wisdom. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading, just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.